Hello and welcome to the Storm Magic How To video series. Here at Storm Magic, we're producing some training videos for our customers and partners to show how to do certain things in the setup and configuration and general operations of our software products. Those software products being SVSAN, our virtual SAN solution, SVKMS, our key management server for encryption workflows, and ArcVault, our video management surveillance solution. My name is Steve Bettison. I'm a technical pre-sales engineer here at Store Magic, and today we'll be continuing with um, SVSAN in VMware. A short video on how to um, create VMFS data stores um, and how to how to create targets within the virtual storage appliance. So we've got a SVSAN on VMware, as I've mentioned. We're going to have a look at a demo lab. It's an environment where I've got um, both, it's a two-node uh, cluster, we've got both virtual storage appliances set up. And the first thing I'm going to look at is creating a target in the VSA. So imagine we haven't got the Store Magic plugin in vCenter. We've deployed out our virtual storage appliances um, via an OVF. Um, so the way to then create a VMFS data store is to first create the target uh, in the VSA, and then we're going to mount um, the you know mount that iSCSI target in VMware to be able to create that VMFS, that virtual machine file system. And then afterwards, with the plugin, you can create the VMFS data store directly from the plugin. So that's what we're going to look at. So let's jump out of the slides uh, and go into the test lab that we've got here. So two node cluster, both our virtual storage appliances. Um, here we've got a, um, a Windows server as well, 2019 server sat on some storage. So just to show you, we have the Store Magic plugin here. But let's imagine we haven't got this plugin and we've got um, our VSAs deployed via an OVF. So um, what we can do is go to one of the, the virtual storage appliances um, and you can do this here. Um, manage VSAs, click on the URL. I've actually got the first one up here um, already connected, so let's jump to that. We already have this target in here um, called Data1, and you can see this is prefixed with M0. So when you create this from the plugin, and we'll see this later on, um, the Store Magic prefixes anything that's created uh, VMFS data stores via the plugin with M0. Now, of course, you can actually come in here and change that name if you want to. So what we're going to do now is create um, a data store. So we've clicked on create here. Let's give this a name, um, DS1. We'll give it a, just for the example of this. Uh, we're going to add the local initiator and its partner. Uh, I'm going to click on the mirroring. Um, I could select caching here. Uh, why not? Oh, it's not configured, so we'll just we'll leave that unticked for now. Um, we've got the mirroring policy here. Uh, we've got a witness, so the isolation policy will be set to majority. If we didn't have a witness, we always recommend having a witness. Um, but you might be doing a proof of concept. So if you've got no witness, you would select the isolation policy to up. We've got a witness here. I'm going to use my vCenter, SB-VCSA. We'll select that. And I need to find the partner VSA. So SB-DN-ESXI VSA01 is this one. So I need uh, O2 here. And you can see that's got 99.98 gig free as well. Uh, so we are in a position to create. So I'm going to click create here. So we're creating DS1. And if I go into targets now, uh, just refreshes. We can see DS1 has been created. Notice how it hasn't been prefixed with an, M, with an M0 because we are creating the target in here first and then we need to mount the iSCSI target uh, in VMware. So it'll appear in VMware and then in order to be able to create that VMFS uh, data store. So it's degraded. Um, it's resyncing over here. 
Um, if you highlight this, it gives you an estimated finish time. Um, but let's jump back to vCenter. Um, and if I go into manage storage, I'm only going to see that um, data one target. Now, of course, I want to get, um, and there is that data one, I want to get DS1 into here visible. So I need to mount that. So I can do that while that, um, while that target is synchronizing. So I can come in here, come up to actions, go storage, new data store. I want to create a VMFS data store on a disk LUN. So we're going to be pointing to that 15 gig um, LUN, if you like that target that we've just created. Click next. Now, it's you can name this whatever you like, but uh, it's easier to try and match it up with the name, the target that you created. Uh, so we're going to give that DS1. Select a host. Now, it doesn't matter which host you choose because it's a mirrored target. Uh, we'll just select host one. And there you can see there's the Storm Magic Eye SCSI disk um, that we're going to uh, mount here. Um, so 15 gig, click next. Uh, we're going to make it a VMFS 6. Next. And this is where you can, can sort of change the size. I don't know why you'd want to necessarily do that, but we're going to select the whole lot. Block size here. Um, base reclamation uh, granularity level uh, leave that those settings as they are click next and click finish um, we should see that refresh in a minute there we are um, so if I go to either one of those hosts go data stores that should be visible now ds1 in both and if I come back to the plugin here, I should see that uh, manage storage. I should see DS1 appear here. It's still showing degraded um, because it's probably still zeroing out. It's nearly there. Um, it's at 80%. So that's how you create, um, you know, an example. If you've not got the Store Magic plugin deployed, you've deployed the VSAs via um, an OVF. Uh, you would come into either one of the VSAs, create your target, and then go back into vCenter and mount that iSCSI uh, target to be able to create that VMFS data store. Now, the other way of uh, creating um, a, VMS, a VMFS data store um, is, is actually via the plugin. So two ways of doing it. Um, from the getting started, you've got to create, create a shared data store there or you can go into Manage Storage um, and go Create. And this takes you through a wizard. So what this does, it creates the VMFS data store and obviously the target at the same time and does all that initialization. So we'll click Next here. Um, let's, for argument's sake, call this DS2. Um, let's just make this five gig. Um, it's telling me here how much I've got available here. Um, I could use all of it and select that. We'll click next. We we'll use the same witness here. There's some advanced options here, preferred local path. You can run without a witness. Um, again, wouldn't advise that, but for proof of concepts, fine. Click next. I could then enable SSD caching and memory caching. Let's just click next here. Um, and these are the two hosts that we're sharing it. We've got two nodes in the, in the cluster there. So we'll click next going to authenticate against each of those hosts. Click next. And we'll click finish. And you can see there it's creating that. If I drop back into um, our targets page here, we should see that appear. And there we are, DS, um, DSO2. Now notice how it's prefixed it again with M0. So when you're creating a VMFS data store or a data store from the plugin, it will prefix, and this is Store Magic doing that, prefixing that target um, with an M0, and that indicates that it was created via the plugin. We created DS1 here, and um, as, a, as a target here, and then mounted that um, 
mounted the iSCSI target within VMware. So that's how uh, we go about creating targets, how we go about creating uh, VMFS data stores in VMware, Store Magic SV Sun. I hope that's been useful. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next videos.